I'm Tara. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a quick layered text effect. It can be used for any word and you can change the colors to anything that suits your project. So let's get going. So once your Canva is open, you're going to decide what size your, your board needs to be. I'm going to pick Instagram post square because I'm only going to use four letters. But if you had more than four letters, you need to adjust your size. Also, I'm using the new Canva Glow Up, so your Canva might look slightly different if you haven't upgraded to that version yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on text and we're going to add a text box. You can also hit T on your keyboard. It will bring you to the same result. So we're just going to make that slightly larger and we're going to type L. So we're going to make it slightly bigger. And we're just going to move it to the side and I am going to make this text one called tan headline. So it's what it's part of the free version. So if it if it's part of the pro if the font is part of the pro, it has a little crown beside it. But I'm going to just use a free font for the moment. So once you have your font picked, I'm just going to change this to red. And then I'm just going to duplicate this letter to we're going to select it and we're going to click, we're going to type O and we're going to keep doing that until the end of our word. It's going to be V and duplicate one more time and just make sure that they're all in the same, on the same line. So just to make sure that they're all in the same level, uh, you can do that either by guides or you can select you can select each one and you can click on position and you can arrange them that way. So um, if we go middle for each of them, then you know that they're all on the same on the same line. So the O, I'm not going to change the color of that for a sec because I might just change that to something else. So the V we're going to change to pink color. And then the E, we're going to make, I'm going to make it yellow, but I'm going to make it a bit brighter than that, actually. So you do that by, if you select on the plus here, you get your color picker and um, you can adjust it then to lighter or darker, whichever, whichever you prefer. So I think I'm just going to remove the O, actually, and I'm going to click into elements and I'm going to search for hearts a heart actually as opposed to hearts and if we click on graphics we might just go for this one and just going to slot that in there and again we're going to make it the same size and then we're just going to position it if you click on position and then click on layers we're going to position it in front of the L and then when sometimes when you when you select a graphic, you have the option to change the color of it. So if if that option is available, it'll have like either one or several colors at the top, depending on how many colors are in the graphic. So we're just going to change that to a blue. And that's good. OK, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background to it. So I'm going to add a cloud cloud background. And I kind of like that one. And once again, it's part of the free version. So that's pretty good. And again, we're just going to send that to the back. It always kind of goes back to the the layer that you were just working on. So um, but if you if you click on position and layers, you can see where where everything is. And when you roll over them, then it'll highlight which layer you're on. Anyway, so we're going to uh, put that to the back and then we're going to look for a speckle. So maybe that one, you don't want something too fine, but yeah, that's pretty good. And we're just going to put it over all of the letters. And once again, it has, um, it's not at the front, so we want it at the front. So you just grab it 
and lift it and once that see that purple line appears that means then that it's it's in the position that you want it to be and then once again we're going to change the color but this time we're going to change it to the blue so because we've used this background canva then knows that um it has given us a breakdown of whatever colors are in that background which is pretty nifty and we're just going to select this blue here so then you kind of have uh you kind of have some some splashes on over the letters i might just reduce that down actually and duplicate it just so we have a bit more on the on the yellow and so that literally is your your graphic done we're just going to center it actually um, slightly seems to be a bit off center and you can increase the size of it or or decrease it depending on depending on your project as I say it can be used for any word so I'll just show you quickly how to how to change it so, so we're just going to move I actually just get rid of those speckles for the minute and so it could be used for like the birth of a new baby so you just literally change the word and get rid of well you could leave the heart if you wanted but maybe um maybe you're generating something for a baby shower or so uh, depending on what the baby is whether it's a girl or a boy um and we're just going to change the colors of these so that one there is too light Okay, and then just going to put in uh, a baby. So that one there is kind of nice. It is it is a pro. It is a pro picture. So, but there's there's always there's always alternatives. There's always free versions available. So let me just put the feet. A little smaller and we're just going to change the position so it's behind so the B is behind it so this one is the same again if you just click on the color and then you can change the blue to a we might make it a kind of darker blue and then if again if you want to change the color of it to make it darker again and just like that you have a quick baby <laughs> baby graphic um and then you could you could either add more um kind of baby shower graphics to it if you wanted and obviously if if it is not a boy and it's a girl <laughs> we just change them to to a pink and we just change that to a lighter pink maybe that's good that's a good looking now and then this again we'll just change that to maybe a bright pink so then because this is a this is an image and not a graphic um, it doesn't give you the option at the top to change that from blue to pink, but um, you can still do it. If you click on edit and you go down to duotone and then you get all of these different um, options depending on what your color scheme is. So if we click that to blush, you can't actually really see the darker color. So we might just need to lighten the lighten that one. and I might need to darken that one so it's it's quite subtle but you can actually click on custom and it will allow you to pick whatever colors you want so if we picked like a light pink maybe and and like a red I think it's just that the clouds are so subtle that you can't really um, see it. So one would need to be like really light, maybe even like a whitey color. 
the white is not a colour. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you can play around with it. But then, like, just like that, you have a, a baby girl. And um, then you can add whatever um, whatever other graphics that uh, you might want to add for your baby share. So in the space of a couple of minutes, we have three different designs, all very effective, all very easy to achieve. I'm just going to show you one more option within apps. There is a um, featured, it's called type le lettering app. So when you hit on type lettering, it will give you these different type effects or text effects. So, but sometimes it's sometimes it's kind of nice to do it on your on your own, and uh, and see what you can generate. But there is kind of one the same, but again, like not all fonts are available within a, within the apps, and sometimes you can't. Um, so you can space them out, but you can't. You might have to do them all individually. Or so, so you can space them out like so, or join them over, and again the line height, and then you can change the colors there as well. But as I say, not all the fonts are available, um, and there is, but there is quite a lot of um, of different text effect options within Canva. But as I say, it's always nice to learn something new. And if you have learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.